Hi, my name is Vlad, and I'm the developer of the game called Dark. It's my first game, and although it wasn't developed entirely solo, it was pretty close to being solo. When I started working on it, I knew absolutely nothing about video game development, and I had to learn everything from scratch. I spent nearly four years making it, and I released it on Steam and GOG last year to both critical acclaim and commercial success. It won multiple awards and ultimately became the 42nd most shared PC video game of 2019, according to Metacritic. Following the successful launch of Dark, um, I just kind of wanted to do something nice and show my appreciation to the community who supported me and the game for so many years. So I ended up announcing two DLCs to be released entirely for free. Um, the first one is called The Tower and it was released back in March. The second one is coming soon, uh, it's coming by the end of this year and I'm super excited to share it with you all. Uh, what you're seeing right now is a preview of the gameplay from The Crypt and there are a bunch of cool things about it, uh, so I'm very excited to show you how it will play. For those who don't know, Dark is a spooky puzzle game set in a lucid dream. It tells the story of a boy named Lloyd who realizes that uh, he's in fact dreaming and he's also unable to wake up. So, since the game is set in this abstract dream world, it allows the player to do things that are impossible in the real world, such as walking on walls and ceilings, manipulating the environment in the most unexpected ways, and solving puzzles that don't always follow the rules of logic, uh, which usually ends up being pretty fun for the player uh, to see the outcomes that they didn't quite anticipate. So by now you must be wondering, why the hell is Lloyd missing his head? which is a valid question to ask at this point. To address this, I have to give you a bit of a spoiler. Uh, it's not a big one, so not to worry. Lloyd loses his head in the first DLC. So the second DLC develops this idea further and makes switching between the body and the head into the main mechanic of the level. To solve puzzles in the crypt, the player will often have to switch between the two body parts. The head and the body don't share the same skill set, so they're made to complement each other in a weird way. For example, the head cannot interact with objects, but it can press buttons and squeeze into small openings that the rest of the body cannot. So most of the puzzles in this level will likely feel like a co-op kind of gameplay, even though it's still a single player experience. The Crypt will be the most challenging level in the game, at least that's what it feels like to me, and it will also come with a set of new achievements. So, now I would like to share with you some really big news. The base game, with the two free DLCs included, will be called The Complete Edition of Dark, and it will soon be available on consoles. Thanks to the partnership with Feardemic, The Complete Edition of Dark is coming to Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PS5, PS4, as well as Nintendo Switch. The digital releases are expected by the end of 2020, while the physical ones should follow in the early 2021. Needless to say, the complete edition will also be available on Steam and GOG, and as promised, all DLCs will remain free. By the way, if you want to be notified when the console versions are released, consider subscribing to Firdemic newsletter. In addition to updates on console ports, you will receive the award-winning music from Dark, wallpapers, and a sample of my new book in which I share the behind the scenes of bringing Dark to life. It's quite a story, I guarantee you that.